Okay, so welcome back to another GCSE Geography Revision video. This case study is the Canada Tanzania Wheat Program from Resource Reliance in Paper 2. So how does it link to the syllabus then? So it's this part here um, where we look at Tanzania and we look at lots of different case studies from Tanzania. And this is our past attempt to achieve food security. So they're the two key things here, past attempt, second one food security and then i guess the third key thing being a national scale so we're thinking has it helped the whole of tanzania mm -hmm. so the tan canada tanzania wheat program how did that partnership come about so in the 70s there was a severe drought in tanzania um, and you can see here the crop yield was really low um, after this drought and in 1974 90% of the wheat and 70% of maize was imported as so that was costing Tanzania a lot of money um, and in 1975 Tanzania relied on food aid for the first time. So this partnership ran from 1968 to 1993 where Canada provided $95 million in aid to support Tanzania in growing wheat. Why Canada, you might be thinking? Well, Canada had expertise in growing large amounts of wheat using modern technology. And the programme um, covered 26,000 hectares of land in the Hanang district in Tanzania. And Canada helped Tanzania to develop suitable seeds and provided expertise in training, uh, fertilisers and machinery. So we need to know, was this an effective strategy? So on the one hand, it did have some positive effects. It led to infrastructure such as road, rail and electricity lines being improved. Training was provo provided to local people. Um, it provided 60% of all of Tanzania's wheat. And in the 1992 drought, Tanzania was the only Southern African country not to rely on food aid. So that you can see that it did have some really positive impact. The yield of, so the amount of crop um, produced really increased 60% of Tanzania's wheat. And when another drought happened um, 40 years after the previous drought, it didn't need food aid. So therefore its physical food security had improved. On the other hand, we need to think about economic food security. So only a few jobs, 400 jobs are created on farms. And if you think about the population of Tanzania as a whole, that isn't very many. It's not going to massively increase um, people's incomes. Yield was low. It would have been cheaper to import the wheat. Most Tanzanians actually eat maize and therefore they can't afford bread from wheat. And so a lot of that wheat um, wasn't useful for the poorest in society. The Barabag tribe, uh, sorry, the Barabag tribe who lived on the Hanang Plains were forced off the land and food security for them got worse. So they were probably the biggest losers in this um, project. Tanzania itself could not afford spare parts or fuel for machinery. And many say the real winners were the Canadian manufacturers because the Canadian manufacturers were supplying the machinery and therefore got money from that. And when new parts were needed, they were the ones um, that got paid for it. So if we have a look at an exam question, then uh, to what extent has one past attempt to achieve food security at a national scale been? It's an eight mark question. So we're looking for the structure PED on PED conk. It's also an eight mark evaluate question, which means we're going to have to focus on AO1, AO2 and AO3. So we're looking for knowledge understanding and evaluation and it's important in your answer that you link to this idea of national scale how do we get those evaluate marks then we're going to think about the short term and we're going to think about the long term in your answer so if you can pause the video and have a go at the question and then once you're ready click play and i will read you a model answer OK. So here is a model answer then um, for this question. I've just done a paragraph so you can see um, how much detail you're expected to go into, what kind of key phrases we'd expect you to be using. So I'm going to start with a point. I've started by saying that it was not sustainable for the local people and did not have an impact on their economic food security. So I've immediately answered the question by focusing on food security. 
Uh, then I've given some evidence, I've given that AO1, and you can see that's kind of embedded throughout my answer. The fact that people can't afford the bread from the maize, um, the fact that um, machinery was too expensive to replace, the fact that 60% of all Tanzanians um, wheat, you can see there's lots of facts here. I then go on to explain, OK, well, why is this a problem then? Well, it doesn't help the local people in terms of poverty is the key thing. So if they can't afford um, that food, their economic food security hasn't been improved. And then finally, this develop point I've linked to the long term in my answer. I've really thought about scale here. And I've said, actually, Tanzania hasn't benefited. It's Canada that has benefited. And therefore, the scheme wasn't successful because it didn't help improve the food security of the local people in Tanzania. OK, so if you have any questions about um, this case study or this answer, please ask your geography teacher and well done for tuning in for this case study.